Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. First things first, my save file was all over the fucking place, and I signed on uh, earlier today, and my Platinum God file was at negative three win streak, even though, you know, for the people who watched the stream, it should have been at nine, and then this was all over the fucking place. I don't even know where I was. Um... But, it seems to have fixed itself. I don't know what I did. I signed out and I signed back in. And everything seems to be cool now. Uh, with that being said, we're good to fucking go, baby. Let's start our challenges. And this one is Pitch Black. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember a lot of these. So, this one is Curse of Darkness. Can't see my health either. Uh, and I'm assuming that's the challenge. You know, it's just very basic. We're gonna go in order. I'm not gonna... You know, run around and pick and choose and which ones I like and which ones I don't like. We're just gonna go with it and we're gonna do them in order. And uh, I picked up Sad Onion on my first pickup. That's pretty uh, That's pretty good, if you ask me, man. I'm down with that. Um, so we just have to keep track of our health. That's uh, basically the only thing we gotta do. So since we are Isaac, we know that we start at uh, three red hearts. Alright, Puberty doesn't do anything, which is fine. Uh, are you a wizard day? That's fine. And two I can see forever pills, which we will be taking to the next floor. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry for the delay on a new episode. Uh, I know it's been a couple days and it's, it's weird getting used to trying to upload when I can. Uh... What I mean by that is, you know, you might see like two episodes in two days, and then two days go by and another one hasn't come out, and I hate inconsistency, I hate it. Um, but I have been working on my Patreon, which uh, is launching today, actually. Uh, this should be coming out Monday. Uh, Monday is when I am launching it. It is already out. The Patreon has been live for like a day and a half now. But the official release of it, the official launch, I'm going to be promoting it uh, on my stream and all that good stuff. Um, that is today. And uh, a big thing about that, is, you know, and I'm really going to make sure that I get the message across, is this is a Patreon for my stream. It's not a Patreon for my YouTube channels. Um, and... I mean, I love doing YouTube, but, I mean, streaming has just kind of become a passion of mine, and I really want to do it as much as I can. Um, so, yeah, that's that's that. But, I mean, feel free to check it out, man. If you're interested in supporting, if uh, you enjoy the stream. Oh, and we dodged it. Okay. What do we got? Toothpicks. Alright, it's just more fire rate. Uh, I see this tinted rock. I can't really do anything about it unless we don't have any shops. That's probably part of the challenge. I think most challenges, now that I think about it, yeah, they don't have... Some of them don't have shops. Some of them don't have item rooms, I think. I don't, I don't really remember now. Um, but it's fine. We still have three hearts, nothing else. And we want our deal with the devil. So we're going to have to... We're gonna be, oh boy, uh, just paying attention for stuff like that, keeping an eye open for spirit hearts, for not taking damage, ooh, for bombs, thank you, um, because I would like a deal with the devil, it could really help, but we do not have a lot of health, we just have base health, ooh, petrified poop, that's amazing, let's see if we can get some spirit hearts to drop some coins, some anything. Come on, Petrify Poop. There you go. You know, the earlier you get this, the better. I mean, that kind of applies for a lot of things, but Petrify Poop in particular, because Poop usually shows up the most on the first floor, and then, you know, it starts turning into other shit. Like, uh, then you get to, like, Necropolis, and then there's, like, a bunch of skulls, not as much poop, and all that jazz. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty excited to do... Oh, boy. Oh, that sucks. Uh, another I can see forever pill. Luck up is cool, and pheromones. Well, another I can see forever pill, uh, and that's that's fucking awesome. We got like a train of these like coming in, and you know maybe we'll get one every floor. Who knows? 
It's nice to have in the rotation. I'm not happy about the speed down, but our speed is... It's okay. It's fine. I'm really happy with our rate of fire, so if we can get some damage behind that, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, I'm, you know, I'm fairly certain Spirit Heart could drop out of these. I mean, I'm not going to complain about money, but Spirit Heart would obviously be huge for us and give us a little leeway to take a little damage, and we can guarantee ourselves that deal with the devil. Uh, and you know, that's a, that's a really important part, I think, for the early game. Getting that first deal with the devil, uh, and you know, putting yourself in the position for deals with the angel, or, well, I mean, we don't have anything. Uh, putting ourselves in a position for a deal with the angel if we skip the deal with the devil, or getting a very powerful item that'll, you know, carry us. It's important, man. And if you lose out on that, I feel like it's it's big. It sucks. And right, so this is our first floor, or our first set of floors, basically done. Oh, that was so close. Hey, oh, okay. Is there anything in here? I have the speed to outrun this, so I just wanted to check. Uh, and that's it. We could go to that arcade. I will. Uh, I'll go check the arcade. Who knows? Since there's no shops, I don't really mind spending this money anyway. Um, I was really looking for a... Oh, the fortune teller machine. Hey, th there you go. That's all I needed. Thank you. We'll be back. We're going to gamble... Or we're going to put some money into that blood bank after we fight the boss. Um, and then we'll uh, pick up all these hearts and then we'll be on our way. We got Larry Jr. and, well, this is the perfect boss to use magic fingers on. Oh, and I'm really glad I had that spirit heart, because if I didn't, I would have been in trouble. So yeah, if uh, if you didn't know magic fingers, uh, if I've never explained it, I think I have. Uh, for, this, for the low cost of one whole penny, I can damage everything in the room. And since Larry is, like, segmented, uh, it does a pretty good job of hurting everything. Uh, little Brimstone. I'm taking it. This shit... I'm not going to take it. Um, now, this does kind of limit how much we can play the Blood Bank. I don't exactly know my health. I took... Okay, no, let's, let's, let's break this down. I got that Spirit Heart from in here. We haven't gotten any upgrades yet, right? And then we got Squeezy, and I took half a heart of damage. So we're at... Uh, we're at two and a half Red Hearts. No, I'm sorry. Two and a half Spirit Hearts and one Red Heart. A.K.A. Not a lot of health. Um, I'd really like more spirit hearts. That'd be pretty huge for us, but you know what? I'm just gonna... That's that's the best shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Alright, never mind. Not complaining. Got a health upgrade. Blow this up. Are you a wizard? I think I'll pass. And... Uh, full health. Okay, so two and a half spirit hearts... And two red hearts. That's pretty good. Considering we picked up Little Brimstone, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And Little Brimstone, you know, I mean, we're okay on a damage aspect, but I mean, he's just icing on the cake, baby, and he gives us more range. So I am totally happy with that. Uh, pop this again. And these guys have chosen a terrible location to, you know, build their defense. I mean,. They, they don't even reach me, but whatever, but whatever floats their boat. They don't even have heads anyway, so Moon card. Well, maybe we can use it on the next floor. The shovel. Oh, well, we're not really trying to speed run. I tell you what, but uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the shovel. I'm going to keep it because there's always the chance of it spawning another black market for us. Um, or at least, you know, I really need to think of a name for just the underground portion, you know, it does because it, it's not always, as you have seen, uh, it's not always a black market, even though we did get one last time, that was awesome, um, but that was in like 200 and something hours of gameplay, that was only the second time I've ever seen it, um, but I don't know, that little underground nonsense, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to call it, if there's like an official name for it, I'd love to hear about it. Um, but we always have the chance of getting that with the shovel, so I'll stick with the shovel. I mean, Magic Fingers is, like, the best you're ever gonna have a use for Magic Fingers, um, was 
that Larry fight. And that that's it's not gonna get any better than that. Alright, Gertie, this is the version of Gertie, as far as I can tell, looks it. Uh that does not shoot at us. Which is great. So we can just kinda do this. Brimstone's amazing. Little Brimstone is amazing at clearing out these little dudes. And uh that works really, really fucking nice. No complaints. You are very dead. Probably don't deal with the devil. That's fine. Range upgrade. That's... I mean... At least we're a little bit more presentable now. Like, I'm not gonna get arrested for indecent exposure anymore. Let's be honest, though. That's pretty sexy exposure. You know you want it. Um... But now we don't have to worry. You know, we don't have to worry about... Getting any complaints of our nudity. And cough, cough, uh, Twitch TV, trying to make me go bankrupt. Used to be able to take my shirt off for money, man. What gives? Hey, see what? Do you, do you see what I mean? Am I? And ain't I just the best? All right, that's a free peep. Give me that shit. Got a nice little dude floating around, and that's a uh, half a damage upgrade. It's not, you know, it's not amazing damage upgrade, but I'll take basically whatever I can get. I mean, we shoot so fast anyway. Uh, and that's a black heart, which brings us to a grand total of two red hearts and three and a half spirit hearts. And that's some orbitals to protect us from uh, projectiles. Cool! I am down with all of these things. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, I'll open that. Since we don't have to worry about shops, I can kind of spend my keys a little bit better. We only need one key for, uh, for the item rooms, you know, per floor. There you go, we made our key back anyway. Um, yeah, that, that all works out. That all works out real nice. Um, yeah, man. I mean, my career was almost in shambles. But, I mean, it, it, it sounds very weird, and if I ever write a book, I mean, this is a life experience that I'm never going to forget, but I used to take my shirt off for the internet, and that was a huge part of my funding. <laughs> That was, like, getting, like, that $69 almost daily, that fucking, that helped insanely, insanely. And since that's gone now, I mean, you know, business has been down. <laughs> At least, well, I mean, you know, it went from very decent to, you know, not getting that at all anymore. And I was shocked at how often... Uh, people actually donated for that. <laughs> like, now that I think about it, now that some time has passed, and uh, my original thoughts were like, oh, I mean, these people obviously were just donating to support the stream, and it's great, and I don't think it's gonna be... it's gonna be bothered too much by the fact that I can't take my shirt off anymore. That shit is gone. I mean, I mean, people still donate, people still show support. I mean, it, it hasn't stopped. And, you know, the love is still real, and the love is the reason why I'm still doing all this. Um, you know, other than the fact that I obviously love doing it. But, like, it just wasn't as consistent as it used to be. <laughs> and that, it was like, wow, I mean, some of these people really just wanted me to take my goddamn shirt off. That will re-roll our entire build. And you know what? Why not, right? I think it also re-rolls the pedestals on... So, you know what? Let me go to my item room first, and if it's shitty... Then, uh, we can re-roll that. And if it's good... Well, that kind of sucks, now that I think about it. Because if it's good... And and it re-rolls, then it's gone. And it, But if it's good and I pick it up... Then we're gonna lose it anyway. So, I don't know how to really feel about this. Let me... I don't know. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just go do it. Amnesia. That's kind of annoying, but it's fine. I believe... Oh, it's speed down. I want you. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Let's just spice things up. We're gonna do it. Uh, I hope this doesn't change my health, and if it does, I hope it changes it for the better. Because we're just gonna... Try to not get hit. Bada boom. What do we got? We have Hive Mind. Here, hold on. Not, not Hive Mind. Um... The fire mind thing. Ouija board. Let's see. Um, poop bomb, or like the, the poopy bombs. I don't know how to explain those. 
homing bombs, I think? Or like poison something? It's a very bomb-esque build. And uh, who the... I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I think I liked my old build better. But I like, I like Little Chubb. I won't complain about him. Also, I thought we had the fire shots, but maybe that's the, just the fire bomb thing. Yeah, that is what it is. Ooh, we got a nice little bomb build going. I think it, it like, that slightly damages everything in the room. I don't think I am Mr. Mega. I don't remember what that one looks like. I mean, the bombs look kind of big, but... Ooh, and that's technology. And you know what? I am going to take it. I kind of miss having that piercing thing. Our shot speed, or our tier rate, is still pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm okay with this. Is it better than our original thing? Eh, maybe not. But it's it's enjoyable. Yeah, let me get that bomb in there. Get over there. Get in there. Now the fallen guarantee. Whoa! The fallen guarantees us a deal with the devil, which is great. Um, that's just the items that he drops. So that's splendid. Oh! Oh, that dodging was beautiful. Get away. So no matter what, I'll be happy. Not really. I'm not very happy with Guppy's tail, but I'll take it. And then Book of Belial, I am certainly taking. Um, and I think I've talked about this before when we played Judas. Book of Belial not only is a damage upgrade, but it also guarantees us a deal with the devil or angel uh, if we beat the boss with it either equipped or maybe we just have to use it in there. I don't. I don't know that part exactly, but all I know is that shit is real. And I'm very happy to have it. And it's much better than the magic fingers that we had, or... I don't even remember what else we had, but whatever. We're gonna pop this bad boy. Open these up. Get more health, which is phenomenal. Because I honestly have no idea where we are at this point. I'm just kinda... I'm telling myself just to not take any damage. And then we took damage, but that's okay. I think we're, uh, I think we're in an okay spot with health. Alright, and that works really nice. And Yeah, why not? I'll take the magician. If we if we need the hangman for a room, we can always go back and pick it up. Alright, so there you go. Not touching red hearts, which means we don't need them. Our health is still pretty good. As far as I know. I don't think I can lose any health. Uh because of that. Six broom? I don't think, like, there's no items that make you lose health other than nine lives, and, you know, we could have nine lives, to tell you the truth. Since we can't see our health, it also doesn't show our, uh, our lives and how many lives we had. Um, so, who the fuck knows, man? I don't. J j again, we're gonna stick to the just don't get hit rule. Um, don't shoot at me. There you go. Shoot over there. We'll s Ooh! See? That's why. That's why having these orbitals is real nice. Now, unfortunately, we don't have many uses for this money, which kind of blows. Um, oh, my God. You know what? Let me see how much damage this does. Okay. Totally didn't just one-shot them. I know it does a small AoE, but I, I didn't know how much it actually did. And we're slow. We're definitely gonna blow up these skulls. We have plenty of bombs to work with, and oh, might have something like that for the next floor. And that's Rainbow Baby, which you know what? I'm kind of a fan of. Uh, I'm totally down, Rainbow Baby. He shoots uh, random tears. You know, that was a Gish tear. That was a uh, homing tear, I believe. What else? That was another homing tear. That was a spectral tear. He's uh, he's pretty good. I I like this baby more than a couple. Because he basically does everything that they all do. I wish there was a like a Grim Reaper baby that shot scythes. Wouldn't that be fucking awesome? Come on, Edmund. You you, you have so many opportunities to make some just badass shit. I mean, I don't know. I just love the scythes. <laughs> I love the scythe item. Everything it does is sweet. So maybe it's a little bias. But God damn. One thing that I am, uh, I mean, if I if I have to somehow think of some way to be upset about anything in this game, I kind of wish Eden had more haircuts. <laughs> is that is that bad? I don't know. I really like playing Eden, and I kind of wish he just had more haircuts. Um, 
that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> I, I, uh, I mean, you could probably, you could probably tell. Uh, I fucking love this game. But if I had, a, if I had to really dig deep and think of something to bitch about, it'd be the lack of Eden haircuts. I think we just got saved by our orbitals yet again. So, I love them. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with uh, picking up technology. Overall, I don't know if I like the reroll that I got. It seems like we have like a very bomb-esque run now. Uh, but our bombs are pretty strong. And you know what? I'm gonna keep this Emperor card because I believe that this concludes at mom. And uh, oh my god. And you know what? Maybe, I'm just saying, it's been a very short episode. Maybe we can get a little two-for-one special going, you know? I mean, you can, you've noticed my commentaries usually run pretty long, so if we could speed run this first one, maybe I could knock out two of these challenges in a single episode. And I don't know if you guys would be a fan of that. I think I'm going to do it this time. Um, and then if you want me to continue doing that, I can, I can always do that. Um, but yeah, this is a very basic challenge run. Um, so I think we'll, we should be able to cruise through it pretty quickly. And, uh, I can finish this boss and then Emperor writes a mom, and I believe that'll be the end of it. Um, alright, don't move. I like this thing you're doing right now. This whole, like, nothing business. God damn it. Ugh. So I'm not a huge fan of the cage. Mostly because uh, our damage isn't spectacular, but we seem to have managed pretty well against them. Our bombs put in a lot of work. And there's a bunch of money I definitely don't need. But at least I have this cool little crown now. And Krampus! Hmm. I mean, if he gives us Krampus' head, then I can really just Emperor to the mom fight and zap her ass. Let's see what he gives us. Lump of coal. Right. I mean, I may as well look for our item room on the next floor, right, before I do that. Um, but yeah, if we can get these double episodes for some challenges. I'm not saying all of them, because some of them, uh, some of them are definitely going to take longer than others. I have done them all before on my other save. Um, luckily, I think we did almost all of them during my 24-hour marathon, which basically translates to I don't fucking remember half of them. Um, but I know some of them are much more difficult than others, and hopefully we can just keep the streak alive. I don't know if this counts. I don't know if these count toward keeping the streak alive, but if they do, and we'll check after this, if they do, then it is essential that I do all of these challenges without dying, because uh, we got a nice little thing going. I died once during that Eden, and since then we've been golden. Alright, so there... Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. You know, it'd be really funny if, uh... It doesn't end at Mom. And I teleport and I fight Mom, and then... I'm just like, well, shit. There's more to do. But let's find out. I think, it, I think it's gonna be over after this. Alright, so we're doing pretty okay damage. I almost want to take... A hit on purpose. And you know what I will. Uh. So now we got this this little guy going. And he He fucks stuff up, man. Like, he's crazy good, this uh smart fly. He flies right all up inside them. And uh he does a lot of damage. He eats people. And I believe this should be it. Yep, that's it. There's our trophy. Let's check our deal with the devil just cuz. I of course. Of course, in grand, uh, you know, me fashion, it's all about grabbing that spirit of the night. And that's that. Nice. I don't remember the runes by name, so spare me on that note, but we unlocked a new rune. And you know what? I'm going to jump straight into the second one. Hi, bro. Let's do it. What we got? Oh, okay. So, hi, bro. It's, it's referring to humor. It's a bunch of poo-poo and pee-pee -pee jokes. And we started out with flush. What does flush do? Well, that's what it does. We also started out with number one and petrified poop. This is a pretty strong start. 
Really. Petrified Poop is sweet. Number one is good tier rate. Flush literally kills everything in the room. And we have Equal Eye, which if something touches us, well, they also just get turned into shit. Um, I don't think we're going to get item rooms on this one. Again, I don't really remember. I just have a feeling. Considering it's a, it's a pretty strong start, I think. Starting with all these items is uh, pretty good. I have a feeling that we're not going to get item rooms. Uh, we also started with five bombs? Oh, we have poop bombs. We have the, the bombs from the last run. Um, so yeah, this is, this is a fairly strong start. And I think that is going to be shops now. I think we get shops. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Let's see if the poop bombs kill the poop. I don't think they will, but now I'm kind of curious. So I'm going to put this here for that tinted rock, but... Ooh, it does kill them. Shit, yo. That's pretty good. And that's... Oh, see? Petrified poop. My man. And you know what? Why not? What do we got? A boomerang. Um. Well, that's, that's not very good. I'm going to buy the key for the next floor. And I'm gonna be on my way. I think that's uh, I think that's fine. Now in grand poopy fashion, I really hope that we fight Dingle just just because, right? Oh jeez. Alright, so the gurglings are a giant pain in the ass now. Because our range is so bad. Um the key though is when they're charging, just to not shoot at them. That seems to be the thing that works. Get over there. BAM! Oh, that felt phenomenal. That uh orgasmic, maybe, heavenly. I don't, I don't know how to explain that in words, but he's dead. Health is fine. I would not argue a range upgrade, but we are definitely set for deals with the devil on this floor. And of course, of course, when it's time to get deals with the devil, what happens? We get a curse of the blind. And you know what? All right, game. You think you have me beat. Maybe I don't give a shit. Maybe I'm gonna pick up your deal anyway. How about that? You're trying to hide from me your secrets. I'm still gonna take whatever I get. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, like, the heart values and kind of... We'll, we'll try to break down what could possibly be in there and what would be bad. Um... So, yeah. And I guess I really don't see a reason to even go into the shop unless we have 15 cents. Especially... Since we don't know what the fuck we'd be buying anyway. I will also happily trade a bomb for a key. What do we got? Monstro. Boop. Get rid of these real quick. Knock these out of the equation. That was poopy damage. Um, but again, we'll be fine. Luckily, we were blessed with these beautiful spirit hearts in, like... The span of like what two rooms we ran into like three spirit hearts or was it all in one room right we shot the poop and we got the double it was good everything that happened was pretty good so what do we got who the fuck knows so i'm picking it up box i'm happy with box bunch of stuff i almost want to take butt penny for the flavor of it uh but petrified poop is really good and you know what that's fine that's not fine. That can suck my dick. That's... Ugh, that can also... Suck my dick. Ooh, balls of steel. Well, we made it back. Okay, so the room gave us two spirit hearts. So... Whatever, man. <laughs> what do you want? Um, I should finish the floor. I guess I see no reason not to. We could also go into this boss room using our temperance. Uh, but first, I'm going to check this out. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll play this down to one red heart, and then we'll see what's in there, and then it'll pay out! Oh. Well, we'll keep trying. We have plenty of hearts, and a bunch of more money. So I almost want to go into the shop and buy the item just to buy the item, right? I mean, it's definitely not going to be Boomerang, that's a start. Unfortunately, you can't donate. Um, you can't use your donation machine during challenge runs, which kind of makes sense. I don't really remember if there's a challenge run that gives you money to start with. Um, but I, it still makes sense that you can't. So, whatever. Oh, don't ask me why I thought we were done, but... Get over there! Eh, that was fine. 
Since it does like an AoE, and like I said, this boss is segmented. So we did a bunch of damage to him. Speed things up a little bit. And, uh... Let me see. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I can play this. Ton of money. Eh, you know what? That'll be it. Give me my hearts back. Oh, just more money. Alright, so I, I feel pretty good. Just even if we buy a, some bullshit. Uh, I mean, eventually we're going to have to buy everything at one point, right? So, broken watch. Well, you know what? That's not bad. This pill? Range up. That's the shit, actually. I'll buy that. And uh, we can even check for the secret room. Which I'm going to give a good guess and assume that it's right meow. And I was correct. And it gave me a battery, so we can flush the next floor, I guess. Um, and that's fine. I haven't gone into here. And you know what? I have so many spirit hearts. I am feeling pretty good. I'm really feeling it. Uh. And we are rewarded with... A bunch of whatever. Alright. Well, for the cost of a spirit heart... Eh, I mean, you know... It could have been worse. I can't really argue that, right? It could have been garbage. Also, there's not a lot of places our super secret room could be. I only see two, which is right there and right here. So there you go. Hey, and sure, I'll gamble. We'll go down to. Never mind. What the fuck is that noise? Let me. Oh god, it won't stop! Put it down! What is happening? Um, um, I'm just gonna go to the next floor. I'm just gonna blow up everything in the room, and then go to the next floor. Stop it! Oh, thank you. No! What the fuck is that? Um. Alright. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what's going on. I'm assuming it has something to do <laughs> with <laughs> it's, it has something to do with picking up the item. I can tell you that. Um, because it's like the noise you make when you pick the item up. But I have no fucking idea what's causing this or how to stop it. So next time we get a charge. Maybe I'll exit out of the game, and hopefully that fixes it. Cause this is this is this is this is a little crazy. It won't. It won't. Unless I'm having a stroke or something. I, I don't. I don't think this is on me. I think this is just something that's happening. Um, hold on. Let me. Nope. I thought maybe get like another sound file might change it. But, it's just going fucking crazy. Alright, hold on, time out. Exit game. Continue. I think that'll bring us back to the beginning of the floor. No, put us right back in here. Okay, it's gone. That's... I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I want you to blow up this tinted rock for me. Come on, buddy. Close. You were close. You were very, very off. So, thank you. Save us a bomb. And, uh, I mean, I kind of need keys. Yeah, that that was uh, absurd. I don't know what I don't know what that was. I I really don't. So, we're just gonna move on with our lives. What can I tell you? So the crystal ball. Uh, I, I don't think I've picked this up yet. And I haven't gotten to explain it. Crystal Ball is pretty fucking awesome. It reveals the entire map. And then it also gives you a tarot card. Or a uh, spirit heart. And revealing the floor alone, kind of by itself, is uh, good enough for me to pick it up. But, you know, then you get the bonus. And uh, that's pretty good. I will, I will clear all these rooms, though. Oh, oh thank you. I will clear the room so we have a charge for the next floor, so as soon as we get to the next floor, we can uh, we can pop it again, and then we can see the entire floor. That works out real nice. 
Uh, and assuming one of these rooms are empty, we're gonna get like a perfect charge. So that's cool. And of course, we'll check out our shop. We got a billion dollars to do nothing with other than shop. Or maybe find a beggar. Um, also, we get to take advantage of the broken stopwatch. If I haven't explained what that does, it has a chance of slowing the room. Uh, it also has a chance of speeding the room. But when it slows the room, it's real nice. And it seems to more often slow than speed the room. Oh, and you just got... He's got Ecolide, son. And uh, I'm going to buy this for the sake of just having it. Because I've never bought it before. And what does it do? It stores hearts for you. It's kind of... I mean, it's nifty. I don't know how many hearts it could actually store. I'm going to go find out. I want to see how many it can store. Let's see if it holds all of it. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got two now. What? Nope, it remembers. Okay. Um... Because, I don't know, like, I picked it up for the sake of picking it up. Holy shit. Alright, I'm at three. Oh my god! Is there a limit to how many hearts you could hold on this thing? Um... That's not bad. I mean, okay, so usually... You want to have nothing but spirit hearts, right? Um... But, if you're in a run and you have nothing but red hearts... I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty fucking nifty. I mean, I don't, I, I'd much rather have Crystal Ball. But, that's, that's, I like it. Alright, so you are very fucked, my friend. Very, very fucked. But, you know, I applaud your effort. And meat is a great upgrade. And, uh, I think that's it. Right, we did everything. We found all the rooms. We got a sun card. Somebody, I think, uh, or asked me to go through the motions with most of the cards, and I apologize for not doing that if I haven't uh, in the past. But the sun card is beautiful, and is one of the main reasons why I praise the sun as hard as I do on a daily basis. Oh, I goofed. I just kind of walked in and started shooting. But the Sun card damages all the enemies in the room. It reveals your map for you, for the floor. And it brings your red hearts back to full. So it's like a, it's like a full health kind of thing. It's, it's probably the best card you can ask for. Pound for pound. Uh, other than maybe like, you know, you might value the Joker card a little bit more because it guarantees a deal with the devil. Um, but, no matter what, man, the sun card, unless you're blue baby, I, I guess, because you can't get any, uh, like, health from it. Shit is, shit is real, man. The battery's not bad, that'll allow us to store up to two charges. Um, so, you know, we can hold on to this full charge, and then you'll see, we can surpass it. It's, uh, it's nifty, it's not bad. And now we got this little Frankenstein thing going. Don't ask me why I did that, but it happened. I don't really have much interest in the arcade. I I will poke in just to see if there was a beggar. Uh, I could play the Blood Bank, but I don't know, man. And then we can go into the... See, the thing with these boss rooms in the original game, uh, these rooms were guaranteed to have an item in them. So, in the first game, you'd be like, well, fuck yeah, I want to go in there, because, you know, it might be something good. Uh, and now they, they nerfed it. Now it doesn't guarantee you shit. You can just get whatever in it. Uh, and that sucks. I used to really like... Oh my, okay. Ugh. I used to really like, uh... You know, knowing that if I went in there, there'd be an item waiting for me. Even if it was shitty, yeah, it was cool. Also, I'm not, I'm not happy fighting this boss. Because he's a pain in the wiener. And we have to stay close to him, which he will punish you for. Uh, but I'm definitely taking the left hand. And uh, the left hand... And I believe we picked up... Got the tail? Or was that last run? That was probably last run. All right. Yeah, that was last run. Okay, so... If we were to have a gold... Oh my god. If we were to have a gold chest drop instead... It will be a red chest, and we can get deal with the devil items in there. 
We can get guppy items. You know, we can... Ow. We can get some good stuff out of it, so... They're being so beautiful with the bosses they're giving us. Like, it's insane. How many times have we fought a version of this guy? There's a deal with the devil, no problem. Kind of bummed about that health down, but I think we'll manage. And... See, we have too much health for the gup. But I do like Zombie Baby. I know our health isn't... Or our damage isn't crazy good. But I, I like him. And I guess we'll go through the effort. No reason not to, I suppose. Uh, and we'll go to this arcade. We'll play this down. We'll see what's in there. Maybe this will just pay out. That'd be great. You never know. Until right now. I could gamble, too, for some resources. But again, it's very meh. Range down. Splendid. Explosive diarrhea. Kind of worked out for us. Um, so that range downgrade kind of brings us back to square one with uh, the very, you know, poor number one range that we got. Uh, but we got lucky. This room is in slow-mo, which is nice. We don't have to worry about too much. Mega Fatty super tanky. So it's not like I'm disappointed with my damage for the most part. And this is the best. I suck at dodging these. So the fact that they don't even go far uh, is beautiful. I just got to back that ass up a little bit. And uh, all is well on the home front. That's it. Made ourselves a beautiful penny for our efforts. And a range down. Great. Um, I don't know where this ends. Which is kind of... I mean, we have been on this episode for, what, like 40 minutes now, give or take? If I had to give a good guess. Uh, Depths XL. I want to say that maybe this might be the end. Holy shit. Um, Alright, we will still go to our shop, even though it's across the fucking universe. Ow, that's bad. I still think we're in an okay spot. Not jinxing myself at all. You know, that the health down did hurt, but it wasn't crazy bad. I'll still take the effort to go to our shop. Um, this may be the end. I don't think there's a way to tell. So I'll just pop this now, since we're gonna—we're definitely gonna get more charges, and uh, I could use as much health as possible. But I think I am gonna skip as many rooms as I can, hit the essentials, and then just make our way to the bosses. And maybe this ends at mom. But it might not. I don't really know. Considering we start fairly strong, I'm going to assume that we might have to go to the womb with this. I guess we'll just have to find out. Oh, welcome to uh, welcome to the the crew, Ghost Baby. I wish you were Bone Baby, but you know what are you gonna do? Also, I kind of regret not picking up Dead Cat. I believe that would have put us in the Gup Zone. No, again, that was last run. Okay. So we we can still maybe become maybe become Guppy. Uh, Guppy's head is very good, but again our damage isn't stellar. I'd rather have the like this map and the spirit hearts and you know if we somehow just fall into like a billion damage upgrades before mom, uh, I'll think about making the switch. And those options is a great item. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to take much advantage of it. Magician, is this a new pill? New pill, pheromones. Ew, whatever. Um, may as well pick you up since I'm not going to have another place to really spend this money. Now, there is an optional boss. I'm trying to think what it could be that would really want me to go fight it. And I guess it would be... Um, whatever his name is. Super Pride. Because if it's Super Pride, we can get a Guppy. Uh, we can get a Guppy item. We can get Dead Cat. And that would make us two-thirds gup. Maybe we could sneak a deal with the devil after mom. Maybe we'll get... You know, maybe we'll become guppy. And uh, I love becoming guppy. I mean, having flying and a super mulligan... Mm, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty fucking good. Maybe it'll be gluttony. Maybe we can get a health upgrade. Oh my god, maybe we can get... 48 hour fucking energy, baby. Which is amazing. And it was envy. Of course. You son of a bitch. 
my least favorite one. Um, and I, I guess I kind of walked into that one because he kind of slipped my mind completely. I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be great. And uh, it turned out to be pretty poopy. Which I guess, again, fits the whole point of uh, this run. I, I, I kind of... I kind of like doing that. Don't, don't, don't hate. Uh, okay, so yeah, fuck all these rooms. Fuck all this noise. Yeah, okay, never mind. I don't want to walk all the way around. That's soup. That's like the laziest shit I ever said in my life. But you know, sometimes you, you just gotta not listen to anything I'm saying. <laughs> it never happened. I did not just walk away from a room because I didn't want to walk all the way around it. Oh my, this is a room. Okay, fuck. All y'all. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Alright, you know what? That did what it had to do. So, it basically cleared out like half this room for me. And I still ended up getting hit like a jackass, but... You know what? Maybe we, we would have got hit a lot more. And again, this, this is a very, very large XL. Holy shit. And, and I don't want to be bothered with any of it. Um, you may have noticed the music. It's much louder. Or, I'm sorry, much like It's, like, quicker. And that is a direct cause of, uh... That doesn't do anything for me. That is a cause of the, the stopwatch. I think it happened again. I can't really tell. Because I feel like our tier rate is so crazy. But the music would be different, wouldn't it? So I think we're just shooting really fast. This guy would be going, like, Mach fucking 12. And, uh... He's, he's not, so... Stopwatch didn't do anything. Uh, you know what? I would love that orbital, but I'm taking the range upgrade for the sake of, uh... Not having to be all up in somebody's business to hurt them. Okay. We got Red Mom, which I'm pretty happy about. It's a very simple fight. You just gotta... Dodge the foot. And then, once in a blue moon, she'll shoot at you. You know what? I'm gonna get her to stomp right here for this Tinted Rock, too. Took damage for it, so it better be good. And it wasn't technically worth it. Ugh. Considering I took a heart and a half for it. But, eh, at least I won't be bothered with the fact that I didn't get to see what it was. I could also get her to step on the skull, which could be a good or bad thing. Turned out to be a nothing thing. Not happy with the damage I've taken. Oh, you bitch. I mean, our damage isn't very great, so it is a, a grind of a fight. Oh, you bitch. But it should be over soon. More and more, I'm starting to hope that the challenge ends right now. It totally fucking does. Beautiful. Praise the sun. Praise it. Good. And you know what, guys? That will be it for uh, this episode. I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to get away with the dub challenges. Um, some of these are a lot longer. Some of them we might actually fucking die on. Uh, but I feel like if the first one goes really fast, then I could sneak in a second. But yeah, as always, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. It helps out a lot. And uh, that one death is going to haunt me forever. And that number of secrets is fucking beautiful. And, uh, yeah, I like our record on this so far. Don't even get me started on the record on this shit. Ugh. I mean, it's no spoiler. I keep talking about it. I'm not allowed to say spoilers anymore, but the reason why we have a billion deaths on this account is because of the Lost. Uh, and we're not going to worry about the Lost on this series for a little while. Uh, but yeah, guys, hopefully this saves. I don't have any problems with the, the save file anymore. Hopefully that is done with. Um, but yeah, guys, you have a wonderful Monday, and I will see you next time.